Thank you, Drew. My name is Matt Leenbar. I'm the Emergency Management Director in uh, Woodward County. Uh, just to give you an overview, uh, and I don't want to recap uh, uh, too much of what Drew said, but uh, you have Monday late after or late morning, early afternoon, we were dealing with 60 mile an hour winds. And that's why the shape of this fire is uh, very different and odd, but we had a wind shift uh, late in the day. Uh, those winds were 60 miles an hour from the south and then they shifted out of the north at 45. Of course, that, that poses a lot of, uh, lot of issues for our firefighters just on the safety side, trying to get them out of the way and then building these berms. And then we had another wind shift, I think yesterday, the day before out of the east. We've had all different directions. So that's been a challenge for our partners at the Oklahoma Forestry Service and our local firefighters just trying to get, build those containment lines around there. Just for comparison, Monday morning, I was at my desk working on our ice storm. Uh, paperwork that we just had that. In fact, we've had five national level disasters in the last five years, uh, starting with the 2012 tornado that hit Woodward, uh, blizzard that we measured the snow and peat, uh, two of those fires, the fire that we had, the Anderson Creek, as Drew talked about, uh, uh, was uh, 400,000 acres uh, that we dealt with last year, 11 months ago, in fact, next month. So. Uh, this area has been hit hard. Uh, that's what, uh, unfortunately, I think I'm one of the busiest emergency managers in Oklahoma, and we, we, uh, we're, I'm honored to have uh, Michael Ann Uden and Kelly Kane. Michael Ann is the Deputy Director of State Emergency Management, and Kelly Kane is the Public Information Officer there. They've been a great resource for us, and we appreciate that. And they've, they've kind of connected us with the, at the federal level, too, as well. So uh, we're working on uh, damage assessment now, it's been challenging uh, because of the land area and there's only just a few of us. Oklahoma Emergency Management's uh, sending a damage assessment team up to assist us with that. Um, there's there's me and another guy in my office and of course that, that big of an area is difficult for us. So what we're doing now is and we have to schedule our flights. We're trying to locate those structures uh, from the air and then we send a ground crew in. And uh, of course we have to work around the priority which is our firefighting aircraft. And so we're trying to get that done, but uh, we do. We are going to discuss today uh, uh, the aid that's available. And there's been a lot of confusion, especially on the agricultural side. So we're going to cover that and uh, get into some detail in the week. I know uh, that Senator Inhofe and Senator Langford's office have combined to have a list of aid resources, and I have some extras of those as well uh, that we printed off this morning. They'll be handing out so we can make sure that. Uh, we direct our farmers and ranchers uh, in this troubling economy, they need that right now, over to the Farm Service Agency and to the local OSU Ag Extension offices, and we get them the assistance. Uh, but uh, once again, yeah, it's, it's affected most of the firefighters on the scene here are volunteers. These are guys that are, are uh, having to go back to work when this is over, having to take vacation time. Uh, and uh, some of, as Drew said, some of the houses have been hit. We, I've had to evacuate my house twice, um, and I live up in uh, this area right here, so we've had to evacuate twice on my own home while we're out on the scene, and a lot of the firefighters have experienced that same thing. Uh, thank God for a lot of the farmers and, and neighbors that they built a fire break around our house and stopped the fire, and that's been everybody pitching in, not just the firefighters, but the county commissioners and, and folks on tractors. We appreciate that. Uh, we do want to want to let you know uh, uh, we do have Senator Bryce Morlatt from Oklahoma uh, from this area here as well as uh, Representative Carl Newton and I believe uh, Representative Murdoch uh, will be here shortly. Uh, Representative Sanders is in. Okay, you're here. All right, great. Good to see you. Representative Sanders, I got a phone with earlier. He's uh, out of town, but he expressed his condolences, and we've been reaching out to him as well as uh, Mike Land at the State Emergency Management Office in Albert Ashwood. Uh, the state emergency management director. Uh, so we're keeping in contact as, as well as with the uh, aides for, for your offices to make sure that everything goes smooth and so far things are, are going great on that end of it. Uh, we do want to direct uh, resources. A lot of people want to know where do the donations come to and how do they donate. Hay uh, uh, services and, and uh, a lot of those things are being conducted of course through the uh, OSU Ag <coughs> Extension offices as well as uh, uh, through the Cattlemen's Association, there's several several groups. So we want to make sure those hay donations, needs, or uh, uh, donations will come into those offices. And the OSU Extension offices can can let you know on that uh, where those locations are at. Uh, I want to give you a website: okcattlemen.org. That's plural. <coughs> Cattlemen.org is where we're trying to direct a lot of those financial resources to our, our cattle losses. 
uh, you know, rebuild a mile of fence, about $10,000, I think, is the, is the cost right now. And there is, uh, it is incredible. We've got thousands and thousands of miles of uh, fence. I drove north uh, this morning uh, very early out of Woodward uh, up into the, uh, uh, the Selman fire in that area. The fire spread was so, so rapid, and I mean, it's just devastation uh, throughout this area. And I think we're going to go uh, take a driving tour up to a ranch here, here shortly uh, after lunch. But uh, the devastation is so rapid, and we have a lot of deer and wildlife and cattle. Uh, I could see them hung up in the fence, you know, the burned carcasses of the animals in the fence. And that tells you how fast this fire spread was, because, you know, deer, we, we see, as, as, as the firefighters know, when we're driving out, putting out the the, the fires and working those fire lines, you see those wild animals getting out of the way. That gives you an idea of how fast moving this was and how dangerous it was to firefighters on the ground. The technique that they had to use uh, on Monday, I know before our, our forestry partners were actually already pre-staged here, thank goodness, but a lot of the firefighters were telling us they, uh, the, the, the last resort is surround the house, spray the water on the trucks and, and you know let the fire jump over. Of course, we don't suggest that for safety reasons, but that's what they have to, had to do because they couldn't keep up with the fire spreading so fast. Back to the uh, donated resources. Uh, we want to let folks know the Salvation Army is on the ground here uh, feeding. Uh, they're working with Southern Baptist Disaster Relief. They were just here for an entire month on the ice storm uh, helping us out. Uh, as well as a Red Cross, uh, and we're directing aid over to uh, the Red Cross as well. They're, they're helping with immediate needs uh, on the ground for that, that end of it. Uh, but once again, I want to emphasize okcattlemen.org. Okay, okay, Those guys are going to need it. Uh, the economy is, has already been hurting here. We've got a drought situation on top of the ice storm and everything else. So uh, uh, they've lost their homes. They've lost their business. Uh, I know that uh, we've had several people over a hundred I've talked to already said they're at a bankruptcy level event on the ranches uh, in this area and that's throughout this area and I know there's many more. Um, just imagine that you've lost your home, you've lost all your inventory in the, in the form of cattle, the tractors are gone. So that's why this is so important and we're, we're really emphasizing to get the word out today on the, on the aid. So I'm going to hand it back uh, 